Hello, today I'm going to be talking about Tampa Catholic, located in um, Tampa. It's a high school, and on the front page, it shows pictures of events that are happening in the school. So there's a volleyball game, lacrosse game, uh, homecoming game, and graduation, things like that. On the right side of the page, it has information on admissions, academics, gives you opportunities to donate, and talks about their mission statement because they are a religious school. It just shows you where they stand. Uh, up here, it has click links which is just uh, links uh, uh, names of uh, staff members and gives you opportunities to contact them. Uh, it gives you contact information for the school and uh, this login information, which is for students. Uh, the tabs it has here is our school, their admissions, academics, athletics, a tab for students, a tab for parents, a tab for alumni, and it gives you opportunity to give. Under the Art Schools tab, it talks about their mission statement, basically where they stand. It gives you information about Edmund Rice, who is a religious figure. Uh, it gives you information on news in the school. It gives you their accreditation information. It gives you history of the school. The Christian Brothers, which is a um, group in the school. It gives you information on how to join that. Uh, press releases and a directory. Under the Admissions tab, it gives you information on the uh, process of getting into the school because it is a private school and you apply for it. It gives you information on the iPad program because every student in the school gets a free iPad given to them by the school for, and they can keep it for the whole school year. Uh, quick facts, and this is also where you can find information on uh, the gender, uh, like the gender makeup of the school, the racial makeup, and uh, information on reduced lunch. It gives you an opportunity to apply for the school. Uh, it tells you what to do once you've been accepted. It gives you an opportunity to visit the school if you are looking to go there. And because it is a private school, you have to, uh, it does cost money, so it gives you information on uh, how much it costs. And it also gives you information on the academic programs uh, given to given by the school. Uh, for the athletics, because they are a very athletic school, it gives you information on a uh, sports team like the football team. They have a very good football team. gives you information on the Hall of Fame, which is for former students that did well in school um, and uh, went on to college. Uh, gives you information on summer camps that the school offers. Uh, it gives you forms for, just for students, and it gives the students an opportunity to check out the athletic director's blog. Uh, for the students tab, it gives them information on clubs that the school offers, like uh, honor societies club, the ambassadors club, the campus ministries, because it is a Catholic school. Uh, it's, uh, it gives them opportunities to get uh, community service hours. It gives them opportunity to join the student government and just use student forms that they may need throughout the year. For the parents, it gives them an uh, opportunity to get involved in the school. Uh, here's a club for the parents, a dad's club, a crusader's parents club, and their mascot is the crusaders. Uh, it gives them opportunities to get uh, to volunteer for the school, like on field trips or sporting events, and just a uh, way for them to get uh, service hours. Under the alumni tab, it gives the uh, former students information on reunions. It gives them an opportunity to update the school on their current address so they can uh, properly relate information to the graduates and it also gives them uh, information on events that are happening at the school in case they want to come. Under the giving tab it gives them information on how to give to, like give money and donate to the school because they are a very charitable school and they do give a lot of money away to people in need. Under the academics tab it has a curriculum information on the curriculum. It basically just tells you what you are going to or what your options are going to be in each uh, grade level. So basically for ninth grade I want to teach a uh, history or geography and it tells you what kind of classes they offer. So right here, World Cultural Geography gives you college prep option, college prep one, honors two or AP uh, human geography. And it basically does the same thing for tenth grade. Right here. Eleventh grade right here and twelfth grade. Uh, which is American government. Uh, this website is actually very easy to use. It's one of the better school websites I've seen. It was very well put together and very, very easy to use.